Horizon. By me. Um, when you said her name, I thought it would be me. Where is it, the land that never meets the sea? Let me go to it on a boat I can row for years upon years to and fro until I reach the deepest, darkest part of my soul. Never did I think that there would be an end to something that wasn't truly ever explored. <clears throat> Assumptions revealed what was being ignored. The vast abyss that is my heart emptied out with your depart, left forsaken from the start. The only natural thing to do was simply grow apart. Now this may sound like it may be the end, but deep down this is all pretend. This downfall and regression is something we all know. The war that carries on between the ego and the soul. Something quite pervasive and of the human construct. Entangled in our own web of self-loathing, always trying to be so strong to not seem weak and show how, how, how far we've come. But all we do is close up and feed the ego even greater lies that to survive and stay alive, we must somehow keep intact this predisposed, self-imposed identity which is all just an act. A great facade for all to see, nothing short of a mystery, a heavy plot with a twist, pale on pale and tight fists, a crowded mind and darkened heart. It's nothing new to me. I just wish to see past us and not drown out at sea. These memories are self-entitled and never seem to lay rest. For all the suffering I do, I never seem to be the best. And this I must commit to memory to proceed in this life I lead. But why lie to myself when I know this life leads me? I've come far and wide and just began to realize that in this life we all are in, we simply have to be. Not the great facade or the fake identity, the one we've come to know and love but never lets us speak. The one that feeds the ego and hinders our own growth will only limit our expansion to one we cannot fathom for fear of being known. We have to soon recognize that there are no boundaries. We need not please anyone except our own destiny. We have not come to fit inside a box to live a moral standard that you yourself have not thought. Set free the mind from preconceived notions before they bring self-doubt and more destruction. For if we don't live our life now, for if for if we don't live your for if you don't live your life now, others will soon live it for you. Do not make a blind eye to the inner truth you hold, for it has brought you here, even when lies were told. How I wish sometimes I would have known before. All the lies I'd propagate to move myself forth. But now I know what I need not, all the wisdom that I've got within myself and amongst the flock. Now feathered friends, now feathered friends can now once again fly above the stars to a place we all know does exist, where lies can no longer hold grasp on the audacity that is your infinite truth, that lies were never really lies but infinite truth in disguise. And now I realize that I was never truly lost. Even when I thought that I had been forgot, innate intuition can still restart all life seems to stop. To avoid the risk of failure and refrain from sailing on to the open ocean that calls to me as soft and swiftly the current pulls to that line that holds the ultimate truth and recites these words I always knew, but still seem quite strange and new. They tell the timeless tale of my own accord blacksmith hammered double-edged sword standing tall encased in stone engraved in gold a scripture holds this knowledge i now seek is something to unfold um so for this poem i feel like i was more i was i guess just um talking about how I guess the um, 
the separation that we sometimes feel about the personality that we show the world and who you feel as a person and how how you feel you move about in the world as a person and remembering what it is to be alive like why you're here and to remember like the the bigger picture and and to kind of bridge <clears throat> the gap between living your daily life and then keep it in mind that the bigger picture of life and how we're more than what we see I feel like with a lot of my poems, it's like I don't know exactly. I don't have a a, a theme or an idea of what I'm writing. I just write it, and then afterwards I can see like, okay, this is how I feel. Like I feel like it's a way between my subconscious and my conscious self to kind of communicate in a way. Um, and for me to know how I feel. And which I, which I guess is what art is. It's expression of things that maybe you may not be so clear on. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back or don't